Welcome to EPV. I'm Josh, and today we're checking out this uh, Gobeige. Gobeige? I don't know. It's an air compressor that this company sent me. They wanted me to try it out, and I'm super excited. Like this thing, when I first opened it up, actually, when I first received it, I was like, dang, this thing is heavy. What the heck is it? And I didn't realize it had come already. And uh, let me show you the Harbor Freight one that I had before. So here's the Harbor Freight one that's been hanging out in the back of my Jeep. This thing is massive. Comes with this sweet carrying case. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, this is what, this is the size I thought I was getting. Things way bigger, so this might actually do the job. Let's get this garbage out of the way. Comes with 25 feet of hose, and the power is supplied from your battery with these clamps. Now it looks like you can use this to clamp on your valve stem. All right, so. The test I want to do with this thing today is on the Jeep, during the wheeling party, I finally aired down to 10 pounds. 10 pounds on all the tires. I just want to see if this thing can air them all up in a reasonable time frame back to, you know, 25 pounds. That's a reasonable tire pressure to drive on with a wheeling rig. So let's see if we can add 15 pounds of pressure to all four of those 37s uh, without this thing blowing up. Oh, we gotta get a cutter. We're cutting. Sweet's got a gauge on it too. Alright, we'll see how loud this thing is in just a second. Gauge is reading about right. All right, let's go to 25 pounds. We'll start with a stopwatch. Oh, it's not too loud. All right, we're about 18 pounds. You can't read the pressure while it's pumping because it reads high. Um, you shut it off. And It's really not that loud, which is kind of nice. Alright, 20 pounds. We're at about two minutes right now, so not too bad. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be about three minutes per tire, which I'm fine with that. Like, you don't need to be in that big a hurry. 25 pounds. Two minutes. 45 seconds. All right, I'm gonna pump up the rest of them and I'll let you know if that thing kicks the breaker or not. All right, all four tires pumped up to 25 pounds from, you know, eight to 10 pounds. And it did it in about, I don't know, 12 minutes or so, which is, I think, pretty good. I mean, I think that's a very reasonable time frame, And it's not even hot. I mean, it's warm, but like I can put my hand on it. It's not like, that other compressor I showed you, one tire and it would be so hot you couldn't touch it. So yeah, I'm very impressed. Having the 25 foot of hose is very helpful too. You can just leave the compressor in one spot. I do wish it had like a remote switch. So um, when you're at the tire, you can shut it off and check the pressure and turn it back on. Um, because walking all the way around to the compressor to shut off and then go check the pressure, it's a little annoying, but I could use the steps anyway, I guess. Yes, very impressed. We have plans with this compressor that involve an air tank. So we're gonna try to do some mods to see if we can make this thing run some air tools on the trail, which I think would be really cool. I'll put a link down in the description for about 150 bucks or so. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super impressed with it. It is a little bit bigger than some of the portable compressors. So if you're like a samurai guy or a Wrangler guy, space is a premium, but if you're in full size, 
I'm sure you can find a spot for it. I think it'd be cool to mount this thing somewhere and have it hardwired um, and then have a compressor switch somewhere else. I think that would be sweet. Maybe mount it in the back car cargo area and just have it hardwired in. Um, that would be pretty rad. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.